After reports of sexual assaults on Virginia Tech's campus prompted protests last month, the university is making adjustments to combat the issue. 10 News reporter Sydney Jacksheimer is working for you tonight to explain what's being done and why some students say it's not enough. Virginia Tech's student-run organization, United Feminist Movement, called out for change in October and again this weekend, asking the university to create a plan to address sexual violence. Thursday, University President Tim Sands responded by creating the Sexual Violence Culture and Climate Work Group. UFM President Carolina Bell believes this newly formed group is not enough. The group that Tim Sands appointed is mainly administrators and there's two undergraduate students um, but there's no graduate students represented um, and no specific like university charter student organizations or cultural centers or things like that. In a statement released to 10 News, University Relations Vice President Mark Ozarski says President Sands quote noted that those with formal and in many cases legally mandated responsibility for implementing sustainable change are represented on the work group. President Sands says the group will be dedicated to end sexual violence and create more preventative programs. But Bell and her organization voice concerns over the lack of guidelines and goals laid out for the appointed group. I think short-term goals, a really great one is just communication um, and accountability at Virginia Tech. Ozarski says, quote, Virginia Tech and UFM are 100% united in our belief that sexual assault and sexual violence is absolutely unacceptable in our community. We are indeed partners in this effort. Bell agrees they're working towards a common goal, but may have different views on how to get there. But I think it's really important to think about how the students are the basis of the school and like we're all here for that. And so um, student voices and faculty and staff should be leading the way because we're the heart of the university. In Blacksburg, Sydney Jacksheimer, 10 News, working for you.